Which button was it? Uh, oh yeah, this button right here is this button right here. What's going on, friends? Guess what? It's time to do another review. And I know you guys have been missing reviews from Stan, but I'm gonna get back on it. Gonna get things a little bit, a uh, little bit more consistent. There we go. I've just been crazy busy. But we have the ZQ. ZQV here. What the heck is going on with the lighting? Is the lighting okay? I think the lighting's all right. But maybe, maybe. Eh, it's fine. The ZQV here. And there it is. The pod system right there. Let's see. Oh, ouch. Let's do this. Oh, bam. Just like that. And uh, that's what we're going to talk about today. And I may do another review directly after this so let me run through the chat and say what up to peeps right quick vaping miner says my dude kate moth is in the house what's up kate moth justin merrill oh my lanta mike the vaping ape what's going on guys saul donnegan what is up uh todd black jacoby vapes how you doing amy clough green bay vapor oh man green bay vapor dc rackley band builds Let's see, Troy is here. E, the everyday vapor. All right, all right, and Chris Lopez. You you just sit there and relax, Saw. I do. <laughs> It'll get done one way or the other. But uh, anyway, we've got this pod system we're going to do a review on today. I'm going to show you some things and some stuff about it. And uh, I got to tell you, before I do anything, though, this has pretty dang good vapor production let me kill the fan fat guy fan remote off there we go you ready pretty good for a pod system so my name's stan and you have found the tenacious tx vapes channel And that's it. Game over, pod system. There we go. See you later. No, I'm just kidding. Here we go. So what we're going to do is, is I'm going to do things a little backwards this time. Usually I show you guys the down close, what's with it and everything, and then I go over the specs and stuff. I'm going to do it the opposite today. Today we're going to go to the website, and we're going to look at it, talk about price and everything, and then I'm going to go down to the up close and show you guys the box. So here we go. Let's find the button here. Boom! Oh, that's not it. Wrong button. All right, guys. So, the ZQV pod system is $29.99. It does come with a pod. It is a refillable pod, so it's an open pod system. Okay. Comes in four different colors. And let's go down here. $29.99. They have $4.90 for a replacement pod. Uh, Let's see here. Let's see here. What did I want to... Oh, there's... Oh, look. It's like a mesh style coil thingy. I don't even know. Honeycomb and spiral airflow design make the airflow more smooth. The airflow evenly flows into the atomization coil, fully enveloping the atomization coil, thus bringing a sufficient atomization effect, bringing up unprecedented delicate taste experience. That makes no sense. 1.4 ohm coil it comes with. It also has a 650. It says it works with CBD oil, nicotine salt, and regular juice. I mean, I don't know about the cbd oil i guess cbd juice it's all the same stuff right but it has a 650 milliamp battery it is magnetic refillable and this is what's cool there's two voltage adjustable modes it's got full power output at 4.2 volts or you can switch it to constant voltage at 3.5 volts i will get into that a little bit more in depth here in just a minute uh let's see let's see 650 ma there we go and it's uh, it's intelligent. Overcharge protection, overload protection, short circuit protection, ESD protection. ESD, I don't know what that is. High temperature protection and over discharge protection. 
There it is. Bam. It runs 7 to 13 watts at a 1.4 ohm coil. The coil is wicked with cotton. These are the sizes. This is just over this is just about three and a half inches this is just about an inch and a half and uh, this is just over a half inch so two milliliter pod let's go back to boom all right so that's the specs and stuff and things of the zq v pod here's the interesting thing about the whole thing it's an aspire company so zq is actually an Aspire company. How cool. Dry clean the blazer. Don't you ask. Oh, my Lana says, when's the last time you dry clean the blazer? You mind your business. This this thing gets, this is a sport coat. And it gets dry cleaned. All right. And it stays in here in the closet for when I'm ready for it. And I only bring it out for you guys. You guys are special. And I do my reviews in this sport coat for you guys. Okay. Anyway. So the ZQV is actually an Aspire company, I believe. Um, it says right on the box. So what we're going to do is we're going to jump down to the box. And I'm going to show you two things real quick before we do that. There's a button on here. See it right there? It's hard to see. I'll show you close up. But there's a button at the bottom. And not only is it pull to draw. It's pull to draw. It's also push to fire. So listen. So there's two ways to fire this. Is that a good thing? Is that a bad thing? I don't know. I'll tell you about it in a minute. Let's go down close and let's take a look at the ZQV. Boom. I will get to all of the chat questions and answers once we are back up close and done with the review so here's the box okay and i gotta tell you this is really super nice packaging really super nice packaging um it says zq on the side it says nothing it says zq sig on the side zqv on the front little picture and here's all your specs and stuff all right you must be of legal smoking age to buy and or use this product please read the user manual carefully before using it for everything go to the website here's the contents a v device a usb cable a user manual and a warranty card and then all rights reserved scratch and sniff and no pregnant ladies 18 plus yada 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 don't vape in a bin and designed by aspire you see that oh wow look at the terrible focusing focus why are you not focusing focus ha oh what the heck there it is there it is so just freeze frame that real quick made in china all right oops i opened it upside down so when you open it you've got this pretty dope little glossy zqv thing let me fix the camera right quick logitech software here and what well, wait where to go logitech software no logitech software sweet there it is logitech software focus video settings advanced focus bam okay so there's the focus let's do this I'm I'm using the wrong wrong camera. All right, sweet. Sweet. No. Back here. You guys are having fun watching this review, I'm sure. Yeah, buddy. This is awesome. Advanced. Ah, here we go. Here we go. Camera control, focus off. And there we go. I got it. I got it. So, this is the gray one. You can see now, here's what's cool. The device has the button here. It's five clicks on and five clicks off. I'll show you with this one because this one this one has juice in it. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And it's on. All right. Now, the pod is magnetic, which I showed you. 
It's got a little sticker on there, so you can't use it until you take the sticker off. There's the contacts inside right there. They're spring-loaded. And then there's your switch inside there. So it's got little grommets on it so that supposedly if anything leaks or whatever, you won't be able to get it inside there when the pot is inside. If you look here, you can see this fill here is rubberized. This is the fill. So if I get my nail under there, which is actually kind of a pain sometimes, I actually do it from this side. Da, there we go. So that's the that's the fill right there. Wipe it off, close it up, and make sure you push this down inside real good so that way it stays sealed. I haven't had any leaking with it. Um, if you look in here, there's a little tiny drop of juice. Oh, wait, no, there's a little juice right there too. I didn't know that. I guess I have had a touch of leaking. Uh, I haven't noticed it before. Hold on, let's wipe it out. Let's wipe it out. Wiping, wiping, wiping. Uh, that It's still a little shiny, but it's not wet. So, yeah, I haven't had a whole bunch of leaking or anything. That's the first time I've ever seen juice in there, so don't hold it against me. Maybe I didn't push this in real good last time. Maybe it's time for a new pod. I don't know. I've been using the same pod for a while. This is the second out of two pods that I have used in this ZQV. I've had it for a minute. All right, so the rest of the box underneath your plastic insert is going to be your accessories box and your warranty or your manual. Let's pull this back a little bit. So your manual is cool. It's got a little, just pull that open like that. There's your manual. It's not a big crazy manual, but it does have four languages and it does have lots of pictures. Cool, huh? Yeah, buddy. And then you flip it over. It's just a card, a fold-out card. So it's not a big, thick, crazy manual. Gives you all the specs and all the information. Here is your certificate right here to certify quality that this was not stamped. So this did not pass quality control. I did get these before... The product actually came out. I've had these for a while, so this yours will probably have a stamp on it. So it comes with a USB, just a basic USB charge cable. It says ZQ on it. I'm not going to open this up because this will be available for my patrons. And then here's what's cool. I really like this. If you've got a juice that you like that doesn't have a small enough tip to get in that hole, it comes with this. So that's pretty cool. I like that a lot. I don't necessarily like these bottles, but I do like the option that they give it to you in case you don't have something to fill it with. So close this all back up and let's jump back out and talk. Oh, well, actually here, I'll show you guys how it works, how to switch the modes real quick. So on the one I've been using, if you want, it's automatically when the light is white, when the light is white, it's in 4.2 volt mode, which means as you draw, you're getting whatever the battery can supply. 4.2 volts being fully charged, and then as the battery dies, you're going to get as much voltage as the battery can put out. So 4.2 or less. All right? Now, when you take this button and you hit it three times, one, two, three, see it switch to green? Well, green is the 3.5 constant voltage mode. So this will give you 3.5 volts all the time, every time, uh, until it, it once it can't supply 3.5 volts anymore, it'll tell you the battery's dead. So I prefer it in I prefer it in the white mode or 4.2 voltage mode, and that's about it. It's tiny, man. I mean, yep, that's it right there. That's it right there. I'm going to jump back out. Boom face. So, as uh, Rip Trippers would say, the big question, the big answer of the day is, no, no, nah, no, nah, we're not doing that. But I will tell you guys, let's see here. If you've got questions or whatever, if you got questions or whatever about the ZQV, go ahead and put them in chat. Um, I don't get 
the greatest flavor off of it, but I do get good flavor. I get awesome vapor production for a pod system. has really good flavor or really good vapor production now i get really good flavor off of menthol stuff but if i just do like a regular like fruity vape or whatever i don't really get i think it needs that menthol to keep the kick in there um and again this is a pod i have been using i don't have any more pods for it except for the one that comes with the one that goes to my patrons so um you can get the pods for 490 it's 29 bucks. I've seen it cheaper on websites. That's just from their website. So you may just want to search ZQVI pod system. Is it worth it? Dude, the restriction on it. The restriction on it is. Uh, where's my, where's my, where's my, where's my, where's my, here. Here's my fix. The restriction on it is lighter than a me pod but it's tighter than a me pod but not as tight as a fix or say a jewel so i like it i like it a lot because i like the, the jewel and the fix etc but those seem to be a little bit too tight sometimes um i like a little more of a looser draw in fact i like a looser draw than this but with the vapor production i'm getting from this i really do enjoy it And if you're somebody like me and you like to use that little pocket in your jeans, in your front pocket, the little the little tiny pocket, this fits perfect in it. Absolutely perfect in all my jeans, right in that little bitty pocket. So yeah, I definitely would check this out if I was you and I was looking for a new pod system. I like the fact that it's refillable. It's actually almost the exact same system as an SMPO. If you don't like refillable juices and you want something where you can just buy the pods and they'll be filled, you can check out the SMPO. But this one is an open pod system. You can refill it yourself. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see questions. Ooh, it leaks, he said. No, it doesn't really leak. I promise. It's just, uh, I think it's just because it's an old pod. Um, it's basically bypass mode. Pretty much bypass mode uh, in the white mode. Uh, oh, no. Barrymore. Okay, that's uh, it's a great MTL. It is a good MTL. Why is it got to be white mode? I, I don't know. It is a sleek little pod system. That is for sure. Would it be worth bringing into a shop before anyone starts asking about them? Um, I don't know what that means, Kate. I'm sorry. Cubano would be good in it. Yes, Cubano would be good in it. Reminds me a lot of the Zero. I wouldn't know, Swags. I haven't seen that one. Um, Infinix is a little tight for me. This is not as tight as the Infinix. Anyway, yes, check it out. I think it's worth it. Good pod system, ZQ. Oh, the one quirk, the one con, the one thing that I don't like. Almost forgot, but I think it's important because I just did it. I was holding it and it fired because I had my finger over the button. Because it's down here for one. And for two, I don't necessarily like pod systems. All of them, most of them are pull to draw. So you don't really remember to turn them off. And I stuck it in my pocket one time and I in the little pocket in my pants and I was reaching into my main pocket to get my car keys out and my hand was pressed up against it and it started firing in my pocket. So that's one of those things, kind of a nitpicky thing because not everybody's going to be like me. Turn it off when it's in your pocket. Um, it's five clicks, super easy. One, two, three, four, five. You don't even know you're pushing it. One, two, three, four, five. And it's it's a nice little pod system. I like it a lot. I don't think that's a deal killer. I just think it's something to watch out for and something that I need to tell you guys about. Uh, Kate Moff says, like, would it be a decent pod system to try to get my customers into if the me pod wasn't a tight enough draw? Or would you recommend something else first? Um, yeah, I mean, like I said, this is in between the jewel type pod systems and the me pod. Uh, if if you let them try the more easily available um, 
like fix and jewel etc pod systems and that's just too tight because sometimes with those really tight draws using 50 milligram juice is really hard on the throat because there's not enough airflow i like this and i use 25 milligram but i like this one because there's just enough airflow to not get that hard throat hit and there's not too much airflow so it still feels like that good tight restricted draw so take from that what you will um you guys have a fantastic rest of your weekend you guys stay safe and remember vape on friends let's do this again in a few minutes maybe yeah okay <laughs>